Here's an article talking about what will humans look like in a hundred years from now. And I found this very interesting because I always like have debates with my friends on, on the human body and what to expect for the future. And I come from a time when in the 80s they did the first heart transplant. And at that time we're like, wow, one day they might be able to like literally transplant all your organs. And that's the thing about your body as we age you basically need replacements. And that's what this, this article touches on, how it says we will get regular body upgrades. What will humans look like in 100 years? And as I scroll down, so they're talking about basically that life expectancy so far by 2000, let's see, for all the talk of humans living longer, life expectancy has flatlined in recent years. The, the near future doesn't look younger and fitter so much as older and fatter. As the medium age and developed world powers pass 40 towards the middle of the century, and as we get down here, so they start talking about like this right here. By 2030, I expect humans to be regularly going into body shops for upgrades. And what do they mean by upgrades? Meaning robotic limbs, meaning chips being put into your body that will probably interact with your brain. Uh, they're talking about bionic organs that, that will uh, synchronize via your your smartphone allowing humans to achieve feats they never imagined like climb Mount Everest at 80 or have wild sex all night. Bionic organs can and will outperform their biological counterparts by 2030. I expect humans to be regularly going into body shops for upgrades. Now can you imagine if this if this does happen that and I always thought this about men and women how men and women are basically equal mental, mentally but not equal physically and I always tell people, well, the, the one way you can make a woman equal to a man physically if she had like bionic limbs. And, uh, and that's probably where we're going. I mean, I could see that we can all get, you know, one of our arms changed out for a stronger robotic arm that can lift and do more depending on, on what you're trying to achieve. And that can help out with various jobs and sports. And, uh, and I, think that's, I think that's where we're headed. I think in the next 20 years in our lifetime, we're going to see that. We're going to see that they'll be able to trade out parts of your body for mechanical ones. And, uh, and so you'll live a longer life and you'll be able to do a lot of things that our ancestors never could even dream of, like lifting a car with one arm. You know. But so as, as I scroll down here, they're talking about all the research they're doing and basically it's gonna come down to do you have money because this stuff's not gonna be cheap it's, it's not gonna be free and when it first finally does start happening uh, it's gonna be super super expensive and I'm seeing that probably only the rich will be able to take advantage of this and right here it says I say there's a 50 50 chance we will have brought aging under decisive control within 20 years in a hundred years there's an 80 to 90 percent chance so depending on where you are in your age, you, you're going to see some of this or you'll see a lot of this. And you might be lucky enough to partake in some of it. I'm 47. Uh, I could see in the next 20 years that I'll be able to partake in some of this and maybe add an extra 10, 20, 30 years onto my life if they have something available and I have the funds to pay for it. And that would that'd be something that you definitely want to save up for. Uh, and like I said here, it said right when I just discussed, I don't believe solving aging will increase an economic divide, the benefits will be extraordinarily valuable if it will pay for itself in no time. So I could see another thing I could see happening is we can in a way become like the people that can't afford all these surgeries to improve their bodies and to uh, make them live longer. I could see them becoming somewhat like indentured servants, you know, taking on these big loans to be able to partake in all this stuff. And, and, and yeah, I, I could live an extra 20 years, but it's going to take me in 10 years to pay it off. I can see that happening too. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can check out this whole article. It's really interesting, but it's like something I always fathomed about and, and I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you guys out there that are interested in health and fitness like myself have thought about well, what, what's to come in our future. And it's gonna, it's gonna be here before you know it. I mean, we're gonna start seeing more and more things. Like we saw, you know, what was that, that one guy that was in uh, Africa that you know killed his girlfriend? But he was competing in the Olympics, and we're not talking the Special Olympics. We're talking the uh, with Pistorius. We're talking the regular Olympics with those with those fake legs, you know. So I think so. That's that's gonna be uh, it's probably gonna be commonplace. Um, yeah. So I mean, so 
it's it's a, a lot to look forward to. I mean, we have a lot of good things in the future. Look forward to some bad things, but uh, I think this is definitely one of the good things. I want to know what you guys think. And go ahead, leave comments in the comment section. Leave a like if you like this video. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness.com.